Chapter 22 Nun Spoiler Grayscale, A Memoir of an Introverted Leader by Muhammad Fadl In this chapter, we're going to tell you, dear listeners, how each of us came to read our second memoir on our podcast. We're going to tell you what this memoir is about, why you should read it, and where you can buy the book. Grayscale came out on July 14th, so it's pretty new on shelves, and we're excited to tell you all about it. We post every Monday. Turn the page. Welcome to another chapter of Between the Pages. If this is your first time joining us on our podcast, welcome. We're your hosts. My name is Hanin. And my name is Nesma. We host this podcast together where we review and recommend books for you to read. We usually have non-spoiler chapters for those of you who want a spoiler-free review of a book and spoiler chapters where we simply review the book down to every last detail. Today we have Grayscale, a memoir of an introverted leader by Muhammad Fadl. Our second memoir on our podcast, we had one before, mm -hmm. which was First Comes First Marriage, marriage yes. by Hudal Maroshi. And yeah, <laughs> we've come accustomed to reading memoirs now. <laughs> yeah, I like them actually. It's more... It's so personal. So it's more meaningful. Like what yeah. happened in the book did actually, actually happen. happen. So it yeah. has more weight. To yeah, it, yeah, you yeah. Know? I know. Other There's something so real about it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like you're reading about an actual person. So it's very relatable. Mm -hmm. And... I loved every second of it. Taban, there were, of course, a few <laughs> tiny things that I didn't like, but you know, that's with every book. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> but yeah, memoirs are are new. I'm I'm liking them very much. You know, it's like that you can find something deeper. You know, mm. it's not just fiction. You can really picture it in your head. You know, it's someone else's life that they're narrating <laughs> yeah it's like it's like reading someone's journal mm -hmm. exactly yeah, that <laughs> yeah. Is, that's basically it <laughs> like, isn't it they sound a lot like my journals I don't know. <laughs> like the thing about them is when someone is telling you like come to reality or like stop breathing or mm -hmm. whatever like we always hear <laughs> it's like this this is real life so <laughs> you don't have to tell me that <laughs> so i think before we get started on Um, how we got to read this book, I think maybe uh, we should tell them a little about the book, yeah. a little summary. Okay. So the book is about Muhammad Fadl, who is an introverted leader, and how he became a leader, how he overcome all those many challenges that we face being introverts and... Mm -hmm. <laughs> aka <laughs> also known as Hanin and Nesma. <laughs> We're not leaders, but we are introverts. <laughs> so, you know, there was this kind of personal level that we could relate to him mm -hmm. um, a lot during the book. And also an important thing to mention is that he was the head or uh, president of president Isaac. Of Isaac yes. Yeah. And the whole book is about his journey, how he entered Isaac and how he always tried to better himself and go higher and achieve even bigger things that he never thought to be capable of doing and which is brave yeah and, courageous. <laughs> and you know something right i wanted to tell you this mm -hmm. something about this book was so um similar to heartless by marissa mayer because you already knew the ending you yeah know? yeah You already knew the mm -hmm. ending and you just wanted to know how he got there. Yes, you yes. Know? So it was about the... It's always like that with memoirs as well. It's about the, the how and the, how, the why yeah. and not the what the what you already know. It's like yeah, yeah, exactly. here already. Yeah. Yeah. I really liked it, you know. But there are some parts of the book that I wasn't really um, fond of, basically. Like, for me, it, the... The book, I remember this, the book only started to get exciting around chapter six or seven. <laughs> <laughs> for huh. me, personally, okay. I don't know, maybe no, someone no. else will feel something different. But for me, like, it started to get more intriguing around chapter six or seven, I think, around that time. I'll tell you when it got intriguing for me. Wait. Like, the first 
two lines or something? No, paragraph. <laughs> the first paragraph or the second paragraph. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, it was it was something funny, I think, being said or like, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, so I'm reading this. <laughs> like, and I was hooked. Definitely reading <laughs> <Yes>. it. <laughs> I was dipping my my toes in yeah. the book. Like I was like, okay, I'm gonna start it and see. I wasn't so sure about it, and yeah. then I was like, it, he made me laugh, and I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm reading. <laughs> Definitely reading it. Yeah. I mean, tell tell them about your how you got to read the book. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm an icicker, but I'm not. Um, a very committed icicker. I'm just kidda on the margins, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so my team leader, who happens to be my friend as well, he told me that um, there is this uh, icicker who was the president last year and he's uh, launching his book and he wants readers, uh, beta, beta readers, readers. For, uh, for the launch to help him. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, okay, sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I've always wanted to be either a yeah, yeah. film editor or a publishing editor. So yeah, yeah, I said, why not? Let's give it a try. And days passed, and I didn't start the book. And then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna see if like, I like if it. Or I'm, yeah, if yeah. I'm gonna do this or not, you know, like, second <laughs> paragraph. Okay, I'm doing this. <laughs> it was it was fun actually. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, on the other hand, I only read it because I knew you liked it. So I was like, okay, I need to give this a chance. <laughs> because yeah. uh, I'm, you know, I was, I had a feeling you wanted to review it on the podcast. So I was like, okay, I'll give it a chance and I'll read it. Um, there were parts of the book where I felt like, okay, can we get this over with? Like, I want to get to the good parts, you know? <laughs> like, there were, like, some slow parts in the book mm -hmm. where I felt like he could have made it, made it a little bit more interesting instead of just narrating. But other than that, he's a really good writer. Like, I'm impressed. Yeah. He has... There was this part of the book... Oh, no, this is for spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't spoil anything yeah, here. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sadly not. <laughs> Spoiler comes out next week, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, for that reason alone, I thought, okay, he's an introvert. And I thought, okay, this could be fun to read, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. to relate to something. Because I would never in my right mind, <laughs> not to, like, I don't want to judge anyone else who does it, um, join Isaac. Because I'm not the type of wood. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I this see. stuff freaks me out. I know he did it despite of his fear. Yes, and, and I'm amazed. Wow, I'm yeah. like, wow. I, I like, I'm there, and I'm still <laughs> basically at the same level or place. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not. But, I'm not. Give, I'm. I'm resisting it. Everything, mm -hmm. Isaac. I'm actually resisting it. I just want to be doing my graphic design thing and not contributing to anything else or yeah, yeah. meeting any other people. Just working with my team leader, and that's it. <laughs> I, don't want I to guess this is the difference the between ambition and passion. Like I think yeah. he had a lot of passion, mm. so that's what drove him, and I respect that. You know, <laughs> I really love that. And it makes us see that introverts can do all mm -hmm. that, all those things, yes. you know? And it's like you, I think there was something he wrote in his book that we should never, um, yeah, I have it here. I learned that shyness and introversion are two separate things. I always classify them as one thing growing up and that being either, sh either should not in any way be a category upon which people judge one another. Nor should they be an undertone that you allow to hold your, you back. Being an introvert and embracing it is the predominant reason that I got to be where I was and do what I did. Learning to hone your character traits and use them to your advantage rather than be subdued by them is one key differentiator between being a good leader and just being. <laughs> And there's like a lot of those kinds of yeah, paragraphs in his um, book. I think it's the theme of grayscale that nothing is just as black and white and you have to embrace that gray yeah, in between. Exactly, so, yeah, exactly. And it's, I think this is what he's trying to tell us. Like introverts, it, introverts are not black and white. Mm -hmm. You know, there is some gray in between. They can be more than just, you know, They're more shy. complex than yeah. all the other outgoing people who are just, open we to everyone. We just find it harder to bring that out of us, mm. you know? So I went in reading this book. I didn't know anything about it. Um, 
like what it was about. Same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I gave you an idea, but you not. You did, yeah, yeah. Kind like, of. So yeah, let's try and like give Kada a general But I didn't idea. know his style or the way he was going to approach it mm-hmm. or, you know, like I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't describe that actually. No, you can't. You, yeah. you really can't. <laughs> you need to see it for yourself. Like maybe mm-hmm. even read the first two chapters. Yeah. And You'll see if you same. like it. Yeah. Like I think people who will relate to this are young people like us, mm-hmm. introverts. And yes, of course, Isaacers would get all the Isaac part in yeah, the, yeah. in his journey. Like all the the hard challenges that he had to face and stuff like that. Yeah, and understand the why and like how challenging it was. Plus, it also it was. shows you not just what um what happens with introverts, but it ha- shows you what happens with leaders in general. Yes, how alone they are in their task, and yeah. that, like he even described in his book that usually when there's a team. Uh, the team members can rely on each other, but mm. the leader can't. Like yes, he has yes. no that one to lean on. Yeah, I was like reading. I was like reading that. I'm like, oh no. Yes. You know, I kept thinking in that part about all the the kings and princes and yeah, queens yeah, yeah. and princesses who are or presidents or any any. But they usually the had world. like their um, what are they called? ministers and all those people to rely on like even in the the show the crown hmm. she wasn't on her own like she was the crown and yes. she but that's was the only, queen she's the only one who's carrying the crown on her head you know it's, true true there but there were definitely people loneliness to like it, yeah. um what's his name prime minister churchill churchill, churchill. she always went yes. back to him yes yes, yes. because he could and... understand her on a level that nobody else could mm-hmm. yeah so it's always important to have someone who can understand your situation but in for Muhammad Fadl in this uh, in his memoir, he described how alone he was in his role, how he had no one to relate uh, to, to yeah. or someone who could support him in his role. He was always like he always had to make these big decisions, and felt like he is he doing the right thing or not? And it's scary. <laughs> it's so scary. <laughs> I don't know. It's What's like the code? It's uneasy lies the head carries the crown, I think. Klaus <laughs> in the like yeah. I said, heavy is the head that wears the crown. Actually, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know the original code anymore. Neither do I. Everyone says it in a different, different way. Yeah. <laughs> anyway but i guess also it's important for let's not say old people but like people in adults adults (laughs) yes we are adults i mean like really are we (laughs) okay let's say we are we are adults (laughs) on record we are Uh, adults adults. (laughs) off record i don't think we are i don't think we'll ever grow up (laughs) <laughs> um for let's say parents and like yeah yeah who like i feel like many parents don't understand the challenges of the youth today it's a bigger world than they had when they were you- mm-hmm. young mm-hmm. and i think it's important to, for them to read this book and yeah have a glimpse <laughs> of what like mm. we go through to Grow up, basically. and I was kind of jealous by the freedom <laughs> that he had. Just, I mean, it has something to do with him being a guy, you yeah. know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> being able to travel everywhere and see new people and... <laughs> <laughs> And all those things, like, it's um, it's just something that's not within our grasp, or my mm. grasp, at least, and I don't know about you. Um, you know... I do have that illusion in my family that I can travel and do whatever I want. <laughs> when it comes to actually traveling and doing whatever I want, it's... there's always an excuse yeah. that isn't related to me not being able to do what I want. And actually, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. Well, I mean, we still get to travel sometimes. So. Yeah. So that's why they have to read this book to yeah. understand how important it is. You know, at the beginning, I wanted to also go and exchange with Isaac before joining Isaac itself. And um, after that agreed and everything, when I was like, Khalas, it's definitely going to happen. He was like, no, keep it next year when you've like grown up more or <laughs> whatever. I don't remember his, his exact, <laughs> Ouch. I do remember his exact words, but 
I'm not gonna repeat them. Anyway, <laughs> and I was like, but that's the point. I want to go on an exchange, so I grow up. So I grow up without having you as a safe net. You know, that's true. Having your parents as a safe net underneath you, it's gonna. You're, it, you're never gonna feel the risk yeah. or or actually get affected with the consequence you know true. yeah that's so true. that's why it was you, so you, important for me to travel like then. you need to leave the nest in order to learn how to fly you yeah. know if you're just gonna sit there in the nest and never learn the risks and having your parents tell you you can't fly it's like, yeah it's so yeah hurtful <laughs> <laughs> it is well we're gonna get there someday and convince them that we are capable of so many things yeah I think I'm getting there. Yeah. Same, me too. I feel like I could get there anytime soon. <laughs> it's taking so long. That's all. It's taking very long. <laughs> all right. So, so far, um, we love Grayscale and we really want you to give it a try. Introverts and extroverts should read it. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> and Icicles, go ahead and have fun see what your leaders go through yeah <laughs> so you don't take them for granted exactly <laughs> so you appreciate them a little bit more and true true mm, you want to read the comments from the amazon i guess yes if we haven't got you hooked already <laughs> i think we're going to read you some reviews on the book to mm -hmm. get you excited <laughs> yeah <laughs> um go ahead I'm gonna start with my review. <laughs> <laughs> Purely subjective, Hanin. Yeah. <laughs> I love I it. Mean, this is our our podcast, so <laughs> Okay, so on Goodreads I wrote this book was a revelation and it was <laughs> like being in the head of a guy. <laughs> it was different than being in the head of a male character in a yeah. fictional book it was the first time that we experienced something like that mm -hmm. you know we we are like in fiction there are points of views from male characters but it's never really that raw and mm -hmm. you know yes and i was like wow they they can get embarrassed they can get shy they can you know yeah. it was like it was like this for me wow it's like <laughs> wow guys can be like that <laughs> So, and for me, it was stark, honest, and vulnerable, like, having to yeah. portray that, yes. And it was very touching and inspiring as well. I agree. Especially, like, the last chapter. The very last one. Yes, it was, like... It was like, so powerful. It was, a, like, a call to action. Yeah. But like, to the world, I guess. <laughs> I yeah. don't know. It was... There was something so... It was coming together, mm -hmm. you know? Like, so... The dots are finally connected. Yeah. Yeah. Though, I did kind of resist the words in a way. I don't know. I know. There was something about it. I'm like, I know you're right. And it makes sense. But I don't want to do it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take that leap yet. I'm always putting it off of actually yeah, yeah, yeah. getting out of my comfort zone. I, Which is why I'm, like, not writing my novel or not writing anything. I'm like... Yeah. I'm always in the sidelines, never really trying to get out of my comfort zone because I'm. It's just a fear of failure that scares the hell out of me. You know. Yeah. It's For something... me, it's the fear of success because with success, I'm going to be in the spotlight. And that's true. Despite my Leo side, <laughs> I don't wow. like being in the on, in the spotlight. I never thought about that. Like, yeah. What the hell do we do if we're successful? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you just have plant. You just planted a new fear in me. Thank you very much, honey. You're welcome. <laughs> I needed that. <laughs> I just hope to grow my comfort zone and not get out of it. I think mm -hmm. that's the that's a good that's a good one to grow your comfort zone. <laughs> just becomes bigger. I like that. <laughs> so I become safer. <laughs> Let's stick with that. <laughs> yeah. Not getting out of it, but just growing it <laughs> yeah, slowly very slowly. i think you just hacked hacked the system honey <laughs> always always it's always my superpower. yeah <laughs> procrastinators just always find the loophole <laughs> i'm not a procrastinator though we're procrastinating now recording the episode the day before it comes out but anyway anyway, anyway, anyway. back to reviews <laughs> um there is this girl iman 
She said, this was by far the best book I've ever I've read in 2020. This memoir was filled with precious moments and emotions. I could see myself in so many parts mm -hmm. of his story. I was able to imagine the moments the writer was going through as he described them in a very amazing way. From childhood memories to different life experiences through Isaac as well. This is a real leadership story. I could feel a roller coaster wow. of emotions through reading every chapter of it. As an Isaac member myself, I could totally relate to this book on a deep level. See, that's what I said. Like, Isaac I, members. I would totally that, recommend it. Yeah. 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 Yes, definitely. A big that part was, of it was the Isaac journey. And mm -hmm. yeah. That's a lot of what I couldn't relate to, you know, because I'm not an Isaacer. I felt like he narrowed down his audience in the mm -hmm. book. So there were parts that were relatable to introverts in general, but there are a lot of parts of the book that I felt like are more related to Isaacers, so I couldn't relate to that at all. Plus, I'm not the kind who joins those kinds of uh, clubs, you know, simply because, um, I don't know, it, it has to do something with my comfort zone. And Haven't you read the book, Isaac, it's not a club? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I am an Isaacer after all. <laughs> See? <laughs> all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Take it back. Isaac is not a club. <laughs> it's easier to describe it as a club. Okay. okay for like. Non is, it, is it an organization? It is an organization. Yeah. Okay. For non Isaacer people who would read this book, I guess think of the Isaac part as. I don't know, an experiment you went through or something. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you were in that situation in an organization, what would you do and how would you might grow? And like, you can relate to it that way, I guess. I don't know. I guess I could. Okay. It's just and the idea of traveling in my family is not an option. So, and I know traveling is a big part of Isaac. You know, if you want to make change and if you want to see mm. different parts of yes, the world. it is and a big part. So... But you can also do it while I know, still yeah. here. Like, of course, I like am, you. You are yeah. part of it and you're still here. Yeah, so I know. Okay, another review. Mm -hmm. You can read this one, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, such a powerful read. Father's story is so relatable and inspiring at the same time. I have always known him as a strong and yet approachable leader in Isaac. Not only has this memoir shown me how his life built him to be remarkable person he is today, but also which vulnerabilities hide behind the surface. Ooh, this is mm. a good one. They're putting it better than we are. I don't know they why are. we're doing this episode. <laughs> I know. I related a lot to the difficulties he so openly writes about, whether they were about his introversion, his leadership experiences, or his love life. His stories even paved new ways for my own acceptance for, of my past experiences and current struggles. I recommend this book to any fellow millennial. You don't want to miss out. Her name is Mara. <laughs> hmm. Okay, Thank you, I Mara. guess they're, they're putting it better than us. Let's try harder. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're adding our own touch to it, so... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So yes, let's like go personal with how we related to this book. I guess um, being an Egyptian and an introvert, I had um, like these moments while reading that felt so much like what I went through in my childhood. For example, it was on all over it. Like this is this was it. You know, we all went through the same thing. Yeah, but of course not the same exact thing. But like yeah, kind of similar experiences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was insightful seeing how he grew up to be an introvert, and then looking back to how I grew up to be an introvert as well, and like going back to the quote you read about shyness and introvertness and embracing it i guess it's also like um how when i knew that i'm an infj and it suddenly became clear why i behave the way i am and the way i do i mean and, and the reason why you do yes, things yeah. and embracing it and using it to actually understand yourself understand myself and experience life uh without pressuring myself or getting or getting angry at yourself or yes something or like anxious that. or having all those negative feelings that I why I can't do why, it or yeah. like why I'm weak or why I you know it's just just accepting that I am this way so 
deal with it (laughs) it. and where would that take me yeah by knowing i am this way you know so it's 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 also interesting to see from a male's perspective Mm -hmm. you know because we don't hear a lot about introverted men you know yeah like actually i don't know that many (laughs) like my brother is an introvert Mm -hmm. and he like i can see that he's pretty closed off sometimes and you know that's what introverts do (laughs) it's just we internalize everything everything and yeah yeah, we don't really talk about things that much and with him having a novel that describes every single thing that we do is so every single thought that we have have and and, yeah and it's it's interesting to see how men go through that Mm -hmm. you know it is it was like i said it was a revelation (laughs) it was a revelation (laughs) oh Okay. <laughs> so so yeah. they can do that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now I can empathize more with them. <laughs> I guess if you really want to read the book right now, you can find it on Amazon as an ebook or as a paperback. Uh, if you're here in Egypt, uh, it's sold through kutubna.net. It's a publishing, self publishing company. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. And that's it for this chapter. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. Give uh, Grayscale a read and let us know what you thought about it on our social media on Instagram or Facebook. We would love to hear your opinions about it. Mm-hmm. And we'll see you in the next chapter where we review the book in a spoiler episode. Thank you for making it till the end of this chapter. Now that you know all about Grayscale, Go pick it up, give it a read, then join us in our chat next week. With anticipation, mark the page.